welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're looking at me and you're like, what, what is that? Um, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm asking myself the exact same question. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video than what I usually post. So when I was in high school, I was super into punk and emo bands, mostly from like the early 2000s, but also more recent bands as well. So little 16 year old me really liked listening to all of this. I, didn't, I promise you I didn't dress like this. Here's what I actually looked like. <laughs> So anyway, little 16 year old me really liked listening to all of these bands and I feel like it's kind of given me a refined palette for punk and emo music. So I've kind of seen tier lists become a little bit popular on YouTube and I kind of wanted to hop on it and give my own little twist on it. So essentially what I'm going to do is do a tier list of emo bands that I used to listen to in high school. Now this video is all for fun so don't take it personally if I don't like your favorite band. I do respect all of these bands and all the work they put into their music and this is all just for fun. I like have narrowed it down to like a few of the bands that I specifically remember listening to. This isn't all of them, this is just a small selection of them. I have plenty more if you guys want a part two or if you guys want me to do a different genre of some sort, uh, leave those down in the comments below, like this video, and I will be sure to do that. I do also realize that not all of these are the same genre. Some of them are emo, pop punk, post hardcore. This is just the selection of music I have with the overall theme of emo. All right, so let's talk about the categories in which I'm gonna be ranking them in. So first let's bring up our categories. So I know this isn't the classic list that you guys are used to seeing. Um, it's just not the vibe for this video. So I made my own um, in Canva and we're going to be using that one. So this is my fourth attempt filming this video. Uh, the clip you just saw was from six hours ago and then I filmed again four hours ago and then I filmed again an hour ago. Uh, so I'm back. So I realized that screen recording it was messing up the audio on it. This is what it sounded like before. I'm not sure if I got this or not, but let's go over the categories. So my first category is Supremo. That's the highest possible category you can be in. Top tier emo band. I feel like there's something about the bands that I put in here that is just special to me. Like they have concentrated their music into a form of art and it literally speaks for itself. It's just amazing music. And in my opinion, the band is just the best in this category. The second category I have is High Hopes. Now this is a play off of the Panic song. These are the bands that have incredible talent, incredible music, but I just feel like there's something that sets Supremo apart from the bands I put in high hopes. There's a lot of potential there, but I feel like they just really need to either really hone in on their skill, or I just feel like they're really close to the top, but I just can't put them at the very top. Our next category is edgy on the ledgy. <laughs> These are bands that I kind of go back and forth where I like their music or I kind of just don't vibe with it. Like nothing against the bands I put in here. I just feel like I could go either way. The fourth category is not that kind of girl, but I still respect you. Not that kind of girl is a my Chemical Romance song and these are bands that I'm just like not that big of a fan of. Maybe I just don't know the right songs to place these higher or their music just isn't my taste which is fine because again I respect all of these people, all the hard work they put into their music. These are ones that I just don't really vibe with that well. And our last category is I don't know enough to be the judge. That's a 21 Pilots reference but essentially this category is for the bands that I only really know like five or six of their songs which I feel like isn't a really good amount of songs to fully judge a band based off of, so I will put them in that category if I'm just really not that familiar with them. Hopefully I have the skills in editing to like put a split screen here or make this screen smaller so that you can see what I'm doing. But yeah, let's just get started into this. So we're gonna start off with Neck Deep. I kind of have mixed feelings about Neck Deep, honestly. I feel like a lot of people hype it up, but I just don't really see it. I know a good amount of their songs, but I feel like the ones I know, I just don't really vibe with. I don't really like that much. I'm gonna have to put them in Not That Kind of Girl, but I still respect you. I feel like maybe if I got into them a little bit more, maybe I'll have a different viewpoint on it, but for right now I'm gonna put it in that category. Next up we have Sum 41. Sum 41 I feel like is similar to Neck Deep in the way that I just don't really know a ton of songs that I super super really like from them. Like I know a few of their songs, but they really do have that 90s and early 2000s influence in their music and I really like that. I don't know, I feel like I really don't know enough of them to judge them fully. So I, I don't know, I feel like I don't know enough of their songs to fully judge them, so I'm gonna have to put it in I don't know enough to be the judge. Next up we have Black Veil Brides. Black Veil Brides I remember when I was like 15 I was like this is the coolest thing ever like the vocals are just very like rock influenced and this is just a band that's different from all of the other ones and I really like that but again I feel like I don't know enough of their songs to fully judge them. This band has like a potential to like move up if I ever do this again but for now I'm just gonna put it in I don't know enough to be the judge. All right next up we have Panic at the Disco. You guys already know I'm really gonna put this up here. 
Um, I feel like this is just a supremo band. Like, I really like everything they do. The amount of talent that that man possesses, oh my god. Every song he does or works on is just incredible, and I gotta put him at the top. Next up, we have Fall Out Boy. This one's gonna be controversial, and I don't want it to be, but here's the tea. I'm not really the biggest Fall Out Boy fan. I used to really like them in high school, but again, I feel like their style, there's something different that sets Panic apart from Fall Out Boy. I know Fall Out Boy is part of that emo quartet. I gotta break them up. I'm so sorry. Fall Out Boy is an incredible band and I love everything they do, but I just feel like I should put them in high hopes. It might move up, it might not. I'm gonna put them there for now. 21 Pilots, y'all already know. Straight up there. This is my favorite band ever. I love them so, so much. There might be some people being like, oh, they're not emo, like they're not punk. Like, listen to the lyrics, girl. Listen to the lyrics. This is an emo band if I've ever seen an emo band. This is like new wave emo too. So it's not like any of the rest of the ones on this list. And I just feel like they're top tier emo band like they're part of that emo quartet but i just feel like they've concentrated their music to like its purest form and i just really really enjoy everything that that band does all right moving on we have paramore this is also going to be controversial and i don't want it to be i'm not the biggest fan of paramore i don't really like that style of music that they've chosen to go with like i'm just not into pop music riot is still one of my favorite albums but like i just feel like i don't like their new stuff as much as i really like their old stuff so i'm gonna have to put it in edge on the leggy just based on their newer music. Next up we have Set It Off. Now Set It Off is more of like a theatrical emo band. I feel like that's kind of a little bit of a rare thing to have in this genre of music and I really like that they went with that. But like again some people like that theatricality and some people just don't. In certain songs I like really love that they went with that but other songs I'm like kind of on the fence about. So I think based off of that I'm gonna have to put it in edgy on the leggy. All right next up All Time low. This is such a good band. I'm like almost tempted to put them in Supremo, but I just feel like Panic and 21 Pilots have set that bar really, really high. So I'm gonna have to put them in High Hopes. Oh man, but Future Hearts album. Does anybody like get springtime vibes when they hear that? Because like I do and I don't know if it's just me. I need to shut up. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to keep them in High Hopes. Next up we have Tonight Alive. Tonight Alive does not get enough credit. Tonight Alive I feel like is the perfect introduction to this style of music. I feel like this can be enjoyed by a variety of people with different musical tastes and how versatile the music is, I just feel like oh, I want to put them in Supremo, but again, I feel like Panic and 21 Pilots have set that bar really high, so I think I'm gonna have to put them in high hopes for now. All right, we have a day to remember. I feel like this band just has so many good songs, and they've been around a while. They've really evolved their music into something I really, really like, but I feel like I only know a select bit of their music. Like, I don't want to judge them as a band based off of what I've heard. Although it's really, really good, I feel like I want to put them in. I don't know enough to be the judge just because, but I feel like to make a full judgment on them, I kind of need to listen to more of their older songs as well, and I'm really more into their new songs, and I think I'm going to put it in. I don't know enough to be the judge. Crown the Empire. That's another one with a lot of theatricality to it, but I feel like I only know five or six of their songs, so I think I'm going to put it in. I don't know enough to be the judge. All right, we have Taking Back Sunday. Now, this is more of that like really early 2000s email music that like was just coming out kind of like setting the bar for everybody else to build upon. I just feel like it could be better in my eyes. Like there are some things that I would change stylistically about what they've done, but I still feel like they are like one of the founding fathers of this genre of music. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna put it in Not That Kind of Girl, but I still respect you. All right, we have The Used. That's another band that has a lot of theatricality to it, but I feel like there's something that sets it apart from Set It Off at Crown the Empire. Like they've really honed in, especially on their lyrics and the way they tell stories through their songs that just really sets them apart. I think I'm gonna have to put them in high hopes just because I really like the direction they're heading in. All right, we have Sleeping With Sirens straight to the top. I already know, straight to the top. My coworker and I really like this band and we play their music while we clean up and their acoustic album, oh my God, their acoustic album, they just have so much talent and I really like this band. So I'm gonna put them in Supremo. All right, Mayday Parade, I feel like is in the same category for me as Taking Back Sunday. Like they have a lot of classic songs and really have sort of built that genre of music for what it is 
is, but I feel like I just am not into that kind of music. I'm gonna have to put them in Not That Kind of Girl, but I still respect you. All right, Bring Me the Horizon is our next band. Bring Me the Horizon is a band that I've heard about for years, and from what I've listened to of this band, I agree, like it is worth the hype. It is a really, really good band and different from other bands in this genre as well. So I feel like I wanna place them high, but again, I feel like I don't know enough songs to fully judge them as a band based off of it. I think I'm gonna have to put them in I don't know enough to be the judge, although I do really like their music, but I feel like I could know a few more songs and improve upon my judgment based off of learning more songs. Get Scared is our next band. I feel like people don't recognize how good this band is, and I really think that it's different from all of the other ones on this list. Like, there's something different about them. I feel like the bar is set really high for Supremo, but I really want to put them towards the top, so I'm gonna put them in high hopes. Next up, we have Blink-182. Now, this is such a good band, and they've just, like, built so much off of themselves that I, again, feel like they've just made their songs and their art just in its purest form. So I feel like I'm gonna have to put that in Supremo just because of how iconic they are as a band and how much of an impact and legacy they have in this genre. Next up, we have Green Day. You already know where this is going. Top top, top. Everything they do is so unique. They're so talented. Yeah, I couldn't put them anywhere else. Next up, we have My Chemical Romance. If you have even heard of this genre of music, you probably know who they are. They've kind of taken this genre and made it their own, which sets them apart so much from the others. And I feel like to this day, no band has really ever been able to recreate the impact that they have had on this genre of music. So I'm, again, I'm gonna put them at the top. Our next band is Yellow Card. I kind of mixed feelings on Yellow Card. Again, I feel like they're one of those like founding fathers of the genre of music, but I just don't vibe with their music style. So I think based off of that, I'm gonna have to put them in the same category as I did Taking Back Sunday and Mayday Parade. I'm just gonna put them in the same not that kind of girl, but I still respect you category, you know? And finally, our last band is Pierce the Veil. This is my one of my top three favorite bands in the entire world. I've literally listened to their music since I was like 13 or 14. I just love their music and I literally love all of their songs. So I'm gonna put it in Supremo and call it a day. So here is a little recap for you guys. Our first category, Supremo, we have Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots, Sleeping with Sirens, Blink-182, Green Day, My Chemical Romance, and Pierce the Veil. In our second category, High Hopes, we have Fall Out Boy, All Time Low, Tonight Alive, The Used, and Get Scared. In our third category, Edgy on the Ledgy, we have Paramore and Set It Off. In our fourth place category, Not That Kind of Girl But I Still Respect You, we have Neck Deep, Taking Back Sunday, Mayday Parade, and Yellow Card. And in our final category, I Don't Know Enough to Be the Judge, we have Sum 41, Black Veil Brides, A Day to Remember, Crown the Empire, and Bring Me the Horizon. So that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you really liked it. This tier style video was actually super fun. So if you guys want me to do another one of these, leave a comment down below of what you would like to see in a tier video and I will try my best to do it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below. Also turn on my bell notifications so you know when I post. And I will see you guys next week, hopefully looking a little bit more normal than now. <laughs> Bye guys.